What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and today we're talking the hardtop a little bit more. Now the last video we got this installed. It's been about a week since I've had it on and uh, so far I'm loving it. Since I posted that video I have had a few questions and I wanted to go ahead and take a, little, take a minute to answer some of them. Now the first one was how heavy is this and the rear area, this rear section is 160 pounds. This front panel is 30 pounds. So it is a bit heavier than the OEM top, but uh, it's manageable. Like I said, my wife and I were able to get it on with no problem. I mean, it is a little bit heavier, but it works. Uh, question about these mounting points. They are the same spots as the OEM hardtop, so any hardtop, any OEM hardtop accessories like roof racks, anything that are made that will work with the OEM hardtop should also work with this. Those line up perfectly with how they line up on the OEM, uh, but they are aluminum. They are built out a bit stronger. So uh, yeah, anything that works for that, for the OEM should work for that. The other question I had was, how, the construction how are these constructed i reached out the turn off road and did ask them they said it is honeycomb so it's like it's made like the oem hardtop sort of now if you've seen cross sections of the oem hardtop honeycomb cardboard and then it's got some a uh, piece of fiberglass along the top and a fiberglass on the bottom but the the core was still dry it was not fully soaked through this is a bit thinner than the oem top like the material is a bit thinner but the resin is soaked all the way through so it's all a solid piece it's not two separate layers that can rip apart and delaminate much more solid that's where the extra weight comes from because it's got the extra resin it's more solid more densely packed and makes for a more solid top so i went ahead and got it cleaned up and then we went and did some sound measurements so i'll go ahead and switch to that footage right now and then we'll be back with some more answers One thing I definitely want to check is to make sure there's no leaks on the inside. So headliners dry all the way around. Don't see any wet on the inside of the door. More back here. Don't feel any wet around the back side of that. Alright, there are a couple of drops along the inside here, but not inside. Yeah, I mean, everything, there's a couple of drops here, but I don't know if those were there when I opened, because I opened it and then the battery died and I walked away. And so those could have dripped off after I walked away. But everything seems, seems to be staying dry, which is, you know, to be expected, but something you definitely want to make sure of. Now, see the top's got a little bit of watermarks and stuff in there because like I said I just 
soaped it down and rinsed it off. I haven't really scrubbed it too hard yet, which I'm going to do now. But as it dries without the shine, they did a really good job of color matching that to the actual plastics on the Bronco. That looks like it was made by the same company where the OEM top uh, was not quite the same color as the rest of the plastics, but it, met, it matches, you know, the handles, the bumpers. Well, these bumpers are different colored, but you know, like that to that, it looks like it's the same part. It doesn't look like two different things, which I think is, they did a really good job on that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this. Get down here, see if some of this, some of the uh, oil's wiped off, but not quite all of it. So I'll go ahead and make sure that's all cleaned up. All right guys, so here we are in the cab with the engine running. I don't know if, how well it picks up on the camera, but it is just at idle. It's much quieter in here. All right, so cruising around at 50. We are right at... Right around 90, 95. Which is where we were before going 25 with the best top. So going 50 with this hard top has the same amount of noise as the best top did going 25. Yeah, it's surprising that I can hear the turbo and everything else on the high highway. That's not anything that I ever heard before. I could definitely hear it at low speed, like lower speeds, or when taking off or anything like that, but uh, up at full speed or anything like that, I was never, there was not, it wasn't quiet enough in the cabin to hear that. Well, at 50 and 70, there wasn't much difference. Uh, it seems the same here with this top, like going 50 or going 70, there's not a whole lot of change uh, in sound between those two, but between the hard top we're at around 90, 95, where the best top was 100 to 105, so 10 decibels better uh, on that at highway speeds. And then once I slow down here, I know at uh, going like 20, 25 with the best top, we were at 90 to 95, which is what we were just at with highway speeds with this top. So. Let me slow down here. It's hard to go 25 miles an hour. Okay, here we go. So now we are 85, 85, well now I gotta stop. On average about five decibels quieter going 25 miles an hour and going faster like highway speeds it's about 10 um 10 decibels quieter so definitely much better uh, another question i had was how hard would it be to cover up this badge so it's got a piece of 3m black black mat 3m vinyl it's the same vinyl I have up here and then we'll just get razor and cut along this inside seam
Uh, there we go. That's a pretty good match. I said, and I just did that one hand it with a small little piece. If you took your time, you could uh, make that look even better. So, if you are concerned about that, it takes about a minute to cover that up. Uh, that with the there it is with the black piece of vinyl over it. There it is, with nothing covering it. Said I don't, I normally don't like badging, but I don't mind that one. So, but if it is something that concerns, you know, a five dollar piece of 3M vinyl and about two minutes and you can have that taken care of. One big question we had is how is it that you get on the waiting list at Turn Off Road for one of these tops? They are going to tell you several months. I think what the last I heard was they are their wait list is out until March of next year. So how is it that they have a wait list going that long, but I'm able to get you on in four to five weeks? If everybody came and ordered a hard top through me, I wouldn't be able to deliver them all uh, in four to five weeks. But uh, I have a standing order with Turn Off Road for, every, for two tops every four to five weeks. So right now I have one sold, so I have one spot open that if you were to order right now in four to five weeks, you get it if you ordered after that one sold it may take eight weeks to eight to ten weeks depending on where you're at so i will also have a waiting list depending on how many tops i'm selling i'm not playing i don't think i'm going to be selling so many tops that i have a huge waiting list out to march uh so like right now i have opening open spots so in four to five weeks i can get a top delivered for you if i get a few orders then there may be a bit of a waiting list, but it'll still be a lot shorter than March. It may be, you know, eight to 10 weeks instead of four to five, depending on where it's at. But I don't anticipate that I'll have, you know, I don't have that big of an audience that I anticipate that there's gonna be a, a huge wait list to order through me. So if you want a hard, to, if you do want the turn off road hardtop um, and you don't wanna wait, as long you can order through me the price is the same shipping everything is all the same as if you order directly through uh turn off road it's going to ship directly from them the only difference is that you're ordering through me and it's a different wait list because i'm being allocated to basically two tops per month yeah uh let's see what a oh the smell i mentioned that there was a bad smell i did get the top I did get the rear end lowered back down, so now I can get the, the Bronco in the garage. So leaving the windows open overnight for a couple of nights got rid of most of the smell. There was still a bit of a lingering smell. It is now gone. I opened the door like you could smell it, sorry. But um, that smell is gone. The lingering smell is gone now. And what I used was this Meguiar's Whole Air Freshener Odor Eliminator. You turn your air conditioning on, your vents on, so all the air is blowing through, and you set that off, close the doors, let it, let it circulate, and then open the car. And it says let the car ventilate for 15, 10 to 15 minutes afterwards before you get in the car. I will say that thing is very strong. Um, I had to let this ventilate for overnight <laughs> like i got in an hour later after having the it was just the broncos just sitting out here with the doors and everything open for about an hour i got in took a drive and i couldn't smell the top anymore but i could smell this and it was still very strong if you're sensitive to air fresheners or anything like that uh this is very strong smelling but the smell from that dissipated in about a day and with it now that i could still smell like the faint, faint scent of that smell which i mean it's not a bad smell it, it was a bit overpowering for the first day but that's it the the fiberglass smell the glue smell everything from the top is gone 
now it just smells like i have an air freshener somewhere in the car so there we go i think i got all the questions answered if i missed anything let me know down in the comments what questions you do have and i'll be sure to answer get you the answers that you're looking for if i don't know them myself so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime we upload a new video and i'll see you next time